Uh, I think one of the things that has gone un- seems to have gone under the radar is that the chief minister on this program about a week ago said that he had received evidence of potential criminality that should be investigated by a relevant tribunal. Only, uh, uh, only yesterday on this program itself, when you put that to Commissioner Alger, the commissioner said he had not seen any evidence of, of criminal wrong- wrongdoing. He had not seen it himself. Now, it seems strange that the chief minister should have seen that evidence, but the commissioner of police himself has not seen it. The commissioner said yesterday that, and, and made stress to that point that if anyone had any evidence, they should take it to the police. And yet the, the chief minister said he's seen that evidence. Or who, is, who is collating this evidence? And why? And why are they sending it to, to the chief minister? It's all uh, a bit strange. Uh, it, and, and why is that relevant to what actually happened in May and June 2020 between the chief minister and the former commissioner of police, which really is the true heart of this inquiry? Why is there an attempt to throw around other allegations that perhaps have nothing to do with the core things that happened in May and June 2020? Now, all of those are legitimate questions. They're thrown up by the current events um, the, the the timing of those events is relevant. Those are matters that are going to be decided by the by the chairman of the inquiry, nobody else, but they are legitimate questions that people will have in their minds.